Guess what? The colors have a story. I tell you about the blue. At the origin of the blue, there is always a natural pigment derived from a mineral, azurite, turquoise, lapis lazuli, of a plant, indigotier, or from a combination of synthesis to which are added adjuvants. Blue is today's Westerners' favorite color, yet this has not always been the case. In ancient times, like antiquity, blue was not considered a true color. In Rome, it was even associated with the Nordic barbarian who coated themselves with it before fighting. Except for pharaonic Egypt, where it was supposed to bring happiness in the afterlife. Hence, the magnificent objects of blue-green worship made according to a copper-based alchemy, blue was the object of a real disinterest. Although it may be everywhere in nature, especially in the Mediterranean, the challenge of the blue is that it's difficult to manufacture, to master, and this is probably the reason why it's not played a role in social, religious or symbolic life for a long time. But in the Middle Ages, a profound change in religious ideas will make the blue triumph. Christians associate God with the divine light, lux, already represented by the color gold. It's therefore necessary to find a color for the Earth's light, atmospheric. It will be the blue. In addition, Marian worship is expanding. At that time, it was chosen to coat Madonna with an expensive pigment color. Perhaps you have noticed that the Virgin Mary is almost always represented with a blue coat. In fact, the reasons for this choice are more devotion than theology. Lapis lazuli was so precious that it was as expensive as gold or even more. This is why these pigments were reserved for representations of the Virgin. In Christian culture, blue then becomes an indication of divinity, or of close participation in the mystery of divine nature. By extension, the kings own this color. Philippe Auguste, then Saint Louis, will wear a blue coat. This habit will then be adopted in the European courts. Blue not only becomes a religious reference, but also an aristocratic fashion. Various processes to create blue shades start to spread elsewhere in the world. Have you heard of the sumptuous blue and white porcelains of the Ming dynasty? They were made by craftsmen thanks to the import of cobalt by the sea route of the Gulf of Persia. Cobalt being a pigment supporting high temperature cooking, necessary for the production of porcelain. Later, the famous porcelain manufacturer of Sèvres, whose blue will be defined in the 18th century, is also a deep cobalt blue that has become emblematic. For his printing of the great blue wave which belongs to the Uyokie movement and questions the instability of life, Hokusai, to whom we have already dedicated an entire video, used a blue coming from Germany, the blue of Prussia, which allows contrast more marked than indigo and which the artist will decline to infinity in the series of view of Mount Fuji. In 1888, Van Gogh settled in Arles and discovered the provincial light. Amazed by the brightness of the firmament, he wrote to his brother Theo, The sky is of a deep blue and stained with clouds of a deeper blue than the fundamental blue of an intense cobalt, and others of a lighter blue, like the blue whiteness of the Milky Way. Painting the sky will become an obsession for the artist. In Nuit Etoilée, 1889, the painter tries to exercise the inner turmoil that gnaws at him through his nervous gestures. At that time, he was interned in saint rémy de provence Esilum to treat his depression. This canvas, dominated by shades of blue, has a mysterious dimension. It seems to express both the feverishness, the exaltation of Van Gogh, pollutes of swirling lights, winding lines, dizzying suppresses of the foreground, but also his search for mental appeasement expressed by the resplendent blues of the night sky. After the painter's death, this mystical masterpiece won all the votes. Universally known, Claude Monet's Nafea series also offers us a palette of blue where mirrors, depth, 
and reflections into wine. In the large canvas Neffe à Bleu, more than the impression is light, the blue color catches the eye and generates a vibration. Par terre céleste, heavenly floor, according to Marcel Proust, the pond with water lilies, developed by Monet in 1890 in his property of Giverny, will inspire him until his death in 1926. In the 1930s, the painter Joan Miro also painted a series of canvas called Paintings Poetry that combined words and symbols in the line of surrealism. Clearly linking the blue and the dream realm, a famous painting inaugurates a series that will follow. On this new tour canvas, Miro calligraphies at the top left the word photo to which responds obliquely the light blue spot. Below it is a handwritten caption with, which has the value of a manifesto. This is the color of my dreams. More than a description, this blue stain will become the starting point of Miro's creative universe. Indeed, for this painter, blue has a special connotation. It is the cradle of its Mediterranean roots. It is impossible to evoke painters in blue without mentioning Nicolas de Stal, whose work sweeps out the beginning of the first half 20th century and whose paintings evoke a powerful range of blues. In the early 1950s, the artist settled in Provence, a period that marked an essential turning point in both his life and his work. When he discovers the brightness of the southern landscapes, his gaze intensifies, his emotions soar. This man, who used to paint at night, starts exalting the southern light through a brilliant array of blues, sometimes textured, sometimes diluted and transparent. Yet, under this bright chromatic range, one can feel the threatening thunderstorm behind dark blue and grey-white strata. For example, Le Fort Carré d'Antibes in 1955, or Les Mouettes Seagulls, whose flight towards the blue horizon seems heavy and roaring in this white, grey pasty fringed with red. De Stal will end his day the same year, defending himself from his painting workshop. I cannot end this incursion into the blue without mentioning one of the pioneers of conceptual art, who, in his quest for immateriality, emptiness and infinity, revolutionized the contemporary art world, catching us on a monochrome journey. Of course, I'm talking about Yves Klein, whose hypnotic blue works are in all the museums of the world. Convinced that the chromatic works of the future would be monochromes, this eccentric artist decided to dedicate his production to a unique shade, the blue. For several months, the ultramarine blue will become the subject of an obsessive search, and in the 1960s, he filled his patent for its iconic and powdery blue, International Klein Blue, the IKB. As you can see, blue plays a prominent role in art, whether it is mystical or divine, sentimental or decorative. What other color can indeed symbolize is both melancholy and hope, dream and reality, coldness and sensuality. Blue is omnipresent, consensual. Blue has colored centuries, from ancient Egypt to Jean Cocteau's poetry, evoking its secret. The secret of the blue is well kept. Blue is coming from over there. On the way, it hardens and changes into mountains. We speak of the blue of Prussia, but here everything is mystery. Mystery is the sapphire. Mystery is the blessed virgin. Mystery is the blue color of a French sailor. I could also tell you about the place which blue occupied in Picasso's painful instant of life, or else of the revolutionary emblematic character which he took with the founders of artistic movement, Die Blau Reiter. From the painter and architect Jacques Majorel, who gave his name to the villa in Marrakesh, this intense, slightly indigo blue which inspires relaxation and blissfulness. When Yves Saint Laurent bought the residence in 1980, he then popularized this bright color. Not to forget Matisse and his cuttings of coral, birds or bare bodies in large size paint blue gouache sheets, of the blue tree of Adam Chesky, or of Anish Kapoor and his fascination for the manipulation of forms and his perception of the space. 
but I mainly hope that this video will trigger your desire to research by yourself other artists who used, sublimated and made the blue triumph.